My name is Odin K. Smith. I am an acrylic artist. When my two oldest sons were little, they were about 16 months apart, they were a lot of energy and they were very stressful at times. And my sister, who had started painting in watercolor, gave me a bunch of things to paint with, paper and paint and brushes, and she said, you need this, you know, you need to calm down. And so I started, and the second I started, I was like, oh, there's something here. I was like hooked, you know? And actually after that, I became totally voracious. I wanted to know how to do this and how to do that. And I practiced and worked and worked and worked and worked, and before you knew it, I was, I needed to know everything about it. So I'm completely self-taught, which I don't tell a lot of people. <laughs> I've learned my craft, you know what I mean? I know my paint and um, I teach others and I have the ability to teach others because I have picked apart something to the nth degree and now I know how to get there from you know the beginning or wherever. And it's, it's pretty neat to be able to give that to somebody else, you know? In the spring, I was at a point where I was kind of not wanting to paint anymore. I was bored with what I was doing. I, I could paint like this, you know, with my hand behind my back, pretty much. I could do it with my eyes closed. Um, and I decided I was either gonna quit or I was gonna change. So I decided I'd change. I feel like with my abstracts, I can pull out color that I wouldn't normally use. I can use things that are a little crazy, you know, brighter, you know, not natural. Although, you know, you can pull in a lot of color with your realistic paintings as well. And for me, it's not, I'm not painting a beach. I'm not painting boats. I'm painting my response to the boats, my response to the beach, how I feel about it. And hopefully putting it out on the canvas so that other people feel the same way I feel. Mm -hmm. So it's an object, but more a painting of a feeling of an object. There's a party going on there. <laughs> party of boats. My dad's parents were Provincetown artists. And that was in the colony days when they were starting to form the art colony down there. And um, both his mom and dad, his mom was an illustrator and his dad was a painter. My grandfather was the, uh, I guess, president of the PAAM, Province Art Museum. My grandmother illustrated children's um, school books and other, other things. She actually worked for, I think it was Macy's at the time, and did all their flyers and their, you know, illustrations for their, their garments and everything. I do have a background of artists, and it's kind of like how Chatham has this line of fishermen whose dads fished and their grandfathers fished. I feel like that's sort of the same thing. You have it in your blood a little bit. But I can't, I, I won't say that that's, you're not born painting. You're not born a fisherman. You, you like it or appreciate it, but you don't just know how because your grandfather did it. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of work involved from, you know, day one to now. I'm known for painting water, moving water. I mean that, you know, right behind you, like the one tucked behind, this one, this one, any kind of moving water. I, they hire me to do demos constantly to do moving water. That's kind of my thing. And I have been teaching publicly for 16 years. I love seeing people's lights go on, you know, and all of a sudden they get what you're talking about or you, you know, tell them to move something, shift this and shift that, and they're like, ah, I don't think I can, just do it, just try it, you know, and they'll try it. And they're like, well, wow, that made a big difference, you know, and they'll learn a certain technique and they'll be able to use it next time in another painting, and you see that. One of my students, I've had her since the very first day I started teaching in Barnstable, which is very cool. Um, she's been with me every Friday since, I don't know when, what the date was, but it's really neat. And she's out now, she's selling her work. Um, she does beautiful, very realistic paintings. You know, she took her own pathway, which is great, but she's still learning. You can't, you can't know everything, that's for sure. Life is about learning. People ask me what my favorite painting is all the time. Um, and I say the next one. You never know what you're gonna do. You never know what you're gonna create. 
And the last one may be great, but the next one could be better. It's pretty cool.